Hey guys, welcome to Honey Badger Arcade live stream. Sorry if I'm bombarding you guys with content, so but um, I've been feeling like really like ambitious lately about making stuff, and I think that this whole like GamerGate thing is just like too. There's too many opportunities to like talk about things that I think are really important, and using this as the backdrop for it. I know lots of other people have been you know staying on top of that and creating lots of content. And I'm not really one to respond to every little piece of drama that comes up, like every time something happens on Twitter or whatever. I I, I don't see a lot of long-term uh, utility for that, but I do think that there are opportunities to talk about something maybe a little bit broader in the context of what's happening with Gamergate and Sweet Baby Inc. So, and like everything else. And And here I got something for you. I got something for you that we're going to look at right now. I, I can't I can't resist. Okay, so GDC is happening. I was going to make a video about this, but I felt like I gave you guys too many videos already as it was. I, I've done three today, and then I'm going to stream right now. And, 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 you know, this drives Allison up the wall because, like, there's notifications constantly going in into Honey Badger. So, um... Uh, Nova fan says, hi, hi guys, welcome to the chat. Nova fan says, did you hear a game dev company got mad at being on the SBI detected list, but refused to show proof of not being involved? Yes, I reported on that, actually. Um, I reported on that, uh, today. I made a video where I talked about it, uh, but I used it to talk about something broader, which is because the COO of the company that made this refusal is on a panel talking about the importance of representation in video games. And the and the reason why I think that's important is because it shows you, and I think you guys know this because you're smart guys. I, I got some of the, we got some of the smartest people watching us on Honey Badger Radio. And I think that some of that, like a little bit of, of that, that intelligence, that, that high IQ, you know, audience has rubbed off on this channel, the gaming channel. And I am grateful for that. But yeah, I mean, the what I used it to talk about was that the problem is not Sweet Baby Inc. The problem is the ideology. The ideology is in, it's embedded in the culture, right? And so that because of that, it's going to be everywhere. Like, did you guys hear about what's going on with this new Star Wars show that people are still caping for? Um it's called the acolyte and i guess it's like gonna there's like a trans actor in it and it's gonna have like a lesbian allegory and it's gonna be about the dark side being good actually i mean this is all this is like everything about wokeness all like lumped in i mean I'm, i know there's more right i know we're gonna find more we're gonna find out you know like uh there's gonna be like yoda is supposed to be in it or something they're saying because it takes place a long time before it's like the High Republic period or something, which of course it is because, you know, they, they're trying to make the High Republic happen because that's like some SJW retcon shit that they, that they wrote. Um, I think it actually kind of like what they're going to do is they're going to take um, any of the pre-Star Wars canon, like Knights of the Old Republic, and they're going to like integrate it in to um, their like new woke history because that's how they do it. Like they just retcon until it feels right for them. And it's going to be a soulless mess when it's done. So Empty Soul 01 says, Scream into the Void. Hello, Empty Soul. Um, this is a place of refuge. This is sanctuary right here. This is where we heal. This is where we get to, to vent our frustrations and, like, you know, basically make our, make, just, like, reach out and touch some sanity. Because that this is this is where that is. And look, I'm all about having fun, man. Like that's ultimately what I'm all about. I'm all about us enjoying each other's company, having a good time, and not like wagging fingers at each other or whatever. So, uh, yeah. So the, so you know, Star Wars has been dead for a long time, and I've been saying it, and people are still on Twitter and on social media caping for Star Wars. I don't know why. They're like, oh, this is. You know, th th this time they're going to get it right or, or they're going to make this this crazy like excuse like, look, if Star Wars is dead, why is Disney constantly making new shows? And it's like, yeah, because they're OK with like sinking the whole ship to, to have their narcissistic fantasies satisfied. Literally what's happening in our culture right now is fan fiction from Tumblr is being made with 200 million dollar budgets. 
That's what we're experiencing. Whether it's in gaming or in television or in film, that is what's happening. People with narcissistic personality disorder on SSRIs and all kinds of antidepressant meds are not dealing with their personal problems. They hate their father and now they have a degree and they're working in the entertainment industry and they're putting all of their weird, like narcissistic fantasies out there for us to consume. And we're, the normal people are like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like you're basically doing therapy with a $200 million budget and an uninterested audience. So, you know, we need a place where we can retreat and, and kind of like, you know, because th that is what we were supposed to be doing when we got into gaming and, and pop culture to begin with, was use it as a form of escapism. But we can't escape because they won't let you. So, anyway, uh, Unwaifu says, so Star Wars wants their woman gay and lame. Yeah, they literally put a chick in it and made her gay and lame. Uh, El Kusanagi says, hello. Hello, El Kusanagi. Nova Fan says, I also heard George Lucas stands with Disney's handling with Star Wars so much for calling him them white slavers. Well... The thing is, this is the unfortunate truth of it, and I knew this already. Uh, George Lucas's beliefs are not that far off from Disney Star Wars. I mean, it just he, they're on the same team at the end of the day. They see it as a tribal war, okay? And you're either on the side of this, the commies, like the people in this, in this Twitter thing that I'm about to go to in a second. Uh, you're either on that side... Or you're like the regressive KKK MAGA Republican extremist, whatever it, whatever they're calling it, the patriarchy. Essentially, you're either weird like these people, or you're normal. And the normal people are the enemy. And George Lucas is ultimately on the side of the weirdos. And it's not because they control the purse strings. It's not because he's afraid. It's because to some degree he agrees with them. And and this is because so so George Lucas. I'm just going to say this real quick, and then I'm going to get into this thing. George Lucas is a really good example of a spineless classical liberal. He's like one of these, like, Chris Reagan, shoe on head, James Lindsay to some degree, you know, um, like these kind of people, like, like Dave Rubin, where they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm a liberal. I just think you, they've gone too far. And this is me being really charitable, Okay. But they don't have the courage to say this is wrong because they themselves have invested too much of their own self into these ideas, right? So, like, for example, you might be okay with, I don't know, like, um, same-sex marriage, okay? Maybe you were for that. Maybe, maybe you were so for that that you thought it would be inhumane to essentially, like, oppose it, okay? So because you have invested in this thing, which they fought for, and we eventually sort of gave them, or for the most part, because you've invested in that, everything that comes after that, you have to support because you supported that. Because not because of what it's for, but because of what it opposes. So you have to oppose, like, whoever was against same-sex marriage in, like, the 90s or the early 2000s. It was the early 2000s, because when Obama got into office, he was against same-sex marriage, even after his second term. So, like, after 2012, okay. So, if you were um, against, or you were for gay marriage, or same-sex marriage, then you can't back out now. Because everything that follows from that, which is, like, where are we at now? We're basically transing the children, putting them on hormone blockers, having drag queen story hour. You, you can't be against that. Because that, 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 that's the new bar. They, make, they move up the bar like, okay, now you got to be for this thing. Now you got to be for this thing. Now you got to be for this thing. Now you got to be for, you know, completely open borders. You got to be for putting, um, you know, migrants in, 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 in other people's houses. You got to be for giving migrants access to guns. You have to be for it all. You can't be against it. Because you were for some of the stuff that you thought was reasonable, in like the 2000s and the 90s, so now you have to be for everything else that comes, right? So what I think that the case is with George Lucas is he wasn't, pro he probably would not have been for transing the kids or drag queen story hour, but he can't oppose it because it turns him into one of those dreaded conservatives, right? Because being conservative just means 
you want normal shit. Like you want a normal life. It doesn't mean what people say it means. It doesn't mean that. It never did, okay? It was always about pushing the needle, pushing the needle, okay? So Lucas can't back out. And there is this thing that I've talked about on the show before called sunken cost fallacy or a sunken cost um, position where you, you invest in an idea. At first, you think it's a good idea and you can't back out of it. And, and the, um, the more invested in the idea you get because you can't back out of it, the harder it is to just look in the, just, just tell the world you were wrong and to back off and they can't. And this is, this is the problem with people today is that pride and ego are like the, they are the order of the day. Like people cannot have the humility. It's so hard for them to have the humility to say they're wrong, that they would let people die to, to feel right, to justify whatever they believe. And, th and this, is, this is not a political issue. This is a problem with humanity. This is a problem with us, in particular today, but I think it's always something we struggle with, okay? So because they have too much pride, because their ego is too strong, they cannot take a step back and say, I was wrong. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm sorry that this is like kind of changing what the stream is supposed to be. Someone's been playing Helldivers, but I, I talked about this before. So if I'm repeating myself, I apologize because I know I have a tendency to do that. But uh, Shia LaBeouf. So you guys know Shia LaBeouf, the actor, okay? And when Trump was elected, Shia LaBeouf set up this artistic stunt in New York where he had a camera running 24 hours a day and he was standing in front of the camera saying, he will not divide us. You guys remember that, right? And he got trolled, okay, like hard. And he tried to move it somewhere and then, you know, and continued and people found where it was and they trolled him again. And I think at one point he like had it put out in the middle of nowhere, you know, um, in like, in, like out in the wilderness, in the rural parts of the country, still trying to push this message, which by the way, did not exist. Like, like literally there was no, Trump wasn't sowing division, the media was, but whatever. And um, the, the, the internet found where it was. They like somebody, you know, the, 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 the fucking autists, they like looked at the stars and they, and they figured out where it was based on like what they could see. They did this, some detective work on the, online and they got to him. And then Shia LaBeouf, and then there was other things that he did. You know, he was, there was like something where he watches his own movies and all this weird stuff, right? And then he disappears for a while. And then I see him on a podcast um, uh, called The Real Ones with, um, oh, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's the guy who played the Punisher and he was in The Walking Dead. And Shia LaBeouf realized that he was wrong. He had a moment, he had humility. He was like, I, I you know, he basically just, just realized that he was doing his whole life wrong. All the things that he invested in, all the things that he believed in were wrong and that he was wrong for it. And, and he allowed himself to be, to forgive himself for what he had done. And he apologized to his wife because I guess he was making her life hard, you know, and the people around him. And he, he said this thing that I think is really important that people understand. He said that, uh, because this is the problem with people's ego today. He said that I am not here to be happy. And I know that sounds like, strange but let, let, let stay with me and he says i'm not here to to like the meaning of life is not to be happy the meaning of life is to be useful and so he and i think that's true and i think that's that's the reason why we're suffering because um a lot too many people think that they're just supposed to be happy and the problem with that is is that they don't think that they have to be useful they don't think that they have to like serve anyone or anything else and so they only serve themselves. And the extremes of that are going to be narcissists like this. So you guys know that uh, Empty Soul 01 says, commies always go against human nature. 4chan did the greatest game of capture the flag in history. <laughs> yeah. Real uh, Bob Newbin says, sup, guys. What's up, Bob? Um, let's see. Yeah. So, so the GDC, Game Developers Conference, is going on right now. 
and I reported on it. And somebody in my comments on one of my videos said, why do you care? It's just like a game developers conference. Like, it's so stupid. Like, dude, this is gonna affect our media. Yeah, this isn't for customers, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't matter, right? So at the GDC conference 2024, Western game developers went out into like a field and just chanted. So let's give this a listen really quick. I guess they were chanting against Gamergate, patriarchy, and the industry. Something that I knew was going to happen, by the way. These people hate Gamergate. That's why we should love Gamergate. We have to protect Vivian James at all costs, guys. Protect her at all costs. Because um, the reason why they hate us is because uh, people who support Gamergate know, like, if you still support it now, then you know what's going on. You know what's really going on. This is not about video games. Okay? So anyway, let's take a listen to this. Okay, very normal behavior. I'm totally sane. Um, <laughs> did you guys hear that okay? I didn't even check to see if it was playing. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Okay, good. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the chat here and uh, get the game started up. But um, this is kind of where we are right now. And you know what? They, it says on there, the West has fallen. The thing is, I don't think that's true. And this is gonna sound like kind of uh, messed up, but those people, they're not having kids. They're not forming families. They're not gonna, their, their legacy dies with them, you know? And the people who are doing that, they will still be here and they'll probably be more productive. So I think everything is gonna work out. Nature is healing as it were. <laughs> so I know, I know, you probably don't like that I said that, but I, I think it's true nonetheless. I think it's true. And I don't know that there's much we can do about that really. So it just is what it is. Um, anyway, so I'm just getting ready here with um, Helldivers 2. I'm like starting it up. And we would should be going live there in just a moment. Uh, let me know again. Um, I do. I should have my bot in there. I don't see the bot. Oh, yeah, the bot's in there. She's talking. I want to make sure the bot's working. Lat says, oh no, more West has fallen bullshit. Yeah, I know, it is. Well, this is what people do, but the thing is, it's only like, it, the thing about uh, leftism is, it's, it's not sustainable. Like, it, it's not sustainable. So it's going to fall eventually. All right, let me put my headphones on. Um, because they're, nobody's, nobody's having kids. They're anti-family. They're anti-natalist. They're anti, like, essentially legacy. So what do you what do you expect? You know? All right. I haven't played this in a while. Anyone thinks that's stuff like that that has zero clue what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, somebody's online. Playing different game version. Ah, oh, shoot. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Sorry, right, I'll play by myself. If I can, let's see. Uh, tactically, oh, what what do we need to do? Let's see. Do we do we have uh, what's the major order with the TCS securing our citizens' lives? Now we can secure their economic future by culling the terminated population and harvesting the E seven ten they provide. Uh, liberate Fori Prime and Zagon Prime. So we got to finish uh, Zagon Prime. No, oh, there's nothing to do here. It's been, it's been liberated. All right, I'll, I'll stay here and, and do more missions. Uh, tactically eliminate all obstacles standing in the way of peace. Okay. Terminated eggs. We'll do that first. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. 
modern conservatism isn't sustainable either. Well, yeah, uh, but I mean, what are we talking about? I, I never, I didn't make the claim that it is. I think things will work out as they need to work out. Energy based. Maybe I'll try this scythe. Continuous beam does not need reloading, but it overheats. A new heat sink must be fitted. Doesn't do as much damage. Oh no, actually it doesn't do bad damage. Okay. Let's try it. So we got a bunch of um, this stuff. So I'm gonna go here. And we will bring uh, the laser. Mm. Maybe the flamethrower or the auto cannon. Auto cannon. No, 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 wait, wait. Actually, I'm not gonna do the auto cannon. I'll bring the jetpack, this, and I'm gonna switch this out for the grenade launcher instead. It's good for the nests. And I'll bring some ammo, or no, some resistance. Ready up. Launch initiated. All right. My pronouns are free, dumb. I hate this, like, they need to address this issue with uh, Helldiver's different version glitch, because that's lame. I don't know if it's my end or the other person's end, but. I can do this. All right. Go now and shoot you all. Remember this. Every down support with a good thing to die for democracy. Oh, someone's here. Oh no, it's just me. I'm talking to myself somehow. Okay, let me see. No enemies around. Here we go. Dims. Ammo. I don't have to call for a resupply. That's good. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Get some meadows. Super credits. Ten of them. Requisition slips. Uh, there are more grenades. Probably go back and because I just... Or maybe I can just come back here later. I'm not going to really use it. Okay. Let's mark the map. Head to... Let's see. Where do we need to go? I guess we need to go here. Dropping a pin. Northwest. 100 meters. Got my jump pack. Ooh, and there's something over there. Democracy is my sexuality. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Minor place of interest. So I, I guess there's major places of interest too. Beacon. Ooh, is that a nest? No, that's like a burning. Got a metal? Just check my thing. Okay. Uh-oh. 
see them. Let's do... Wait, why do I have that? No, 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 I don't want that. No, you don't. coming. Oh, you motherfucker. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Democracy has landed. God, guys, leave me alone! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I think, I think I'm okay, and we just get my stuff. Jesus Christ. Hey, Doc, you never were good at checking your peripherals. Always a critic. Got one of those left. Oh shit.
Oh my god. Fuck it! Oh my lord. They're coming! How about a nice cup of liver tea? Ooh, a flamethrower? Yeah, I think I will. Oh good, I got, I got some help. Canister's empty. New canister. Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Bringing company. as well do our job. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. You will never destroy our way of life! Wait, what? I don't know if I like this weapon. Hive structure destroyed. Okay. Gonna jump off of here when I get when it fills up. I gotta wait for it to recharge. Oh, well, that's not good. Fire tornado warning. map east 300 meters waiting to get the data off of this um, off of this thing nice Oh, tornadoes. Fire tornadoes. I want to deal with that shit. My leg. Yeah. I need supplies bad. Let me just call for supplies really quick. Oh, shit. Throwing supply beam. Changing 
Bye. How about this? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't. I don't know if I like the laser rifle. I thought I would try it out, but I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the flamethrower and the liberator. The regular ass starting uh, assault rifle is good, and the shotgun too. Sample collected. Dropping a pin. Northwest. 300 meters. Let's get all these fucking nests. The auto cannon he's got is really good too. But it takes up two slots. Only we can go that way, bro. I don't get how everyone calls it politics. Nobody voted for this woke crap. It's not about voting, dude. It's about it's about cultural pressure. They're pu they're pushing their politics on us. And when we reject it, they call it political. So we have to treat it like it is. It is political. They're making it political, but it is nonetheless. So you just have to reject it. Get educated, understand what's really going on. This is political. There's no avoiding it, you know? I mean, I don't want I don't want that. I I'd, I'd rather just like you know, have a good culture that's healthy, but these people, they, they don't, they, 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 they're very unhappy. They're, they're mad at their father, they're mad at God, and they think that everyone should feel the same way that they do. Misery loves company. There should be a nest over here. Why isn't there one? Oh, I see it, I see it. Fire in the hole! A tunnel freak! Laser. These guys, oh shit, they're gonna fucking kill me. Calling in reinforcements. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Ready to liberate. Moving outside the mission area. No. I mean, where's my shit? Warning, you are leaving the mission area. Orbital inbound! You okay, Betty? Fuck these guys. That's called democracy! Is that guy dead? What's going on? Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> What's wrong? 
Do you want me to kill you? I could kill him and bring him back. Do it. Do it! Okay, I'm gonna bring him back. Sorry. <laughs> it's for the greater good. <laughs> I'll get the sample. No, no, I don't want that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep your defender. I'm sorry. Last reload. Holy cow, supply. New mag. How is Marxism not politics? Marxism is the opposite of politics. I don't know. It's pretty political. Fucking hell, these guys. They just keep coming. Country's gonna start shooting at shit. Watch out. Dropping a pin. Northeast. 100 meters. Ooh. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Do it. Calling in orbital strike. Sending in an eagle. Yeah, do it. Get it. Conspiracy. Bugs or toasters? Bugs. What's up, man? We could finish the mission and just go. Tagging map. East. Yeah, let's meters. do it. Affirmative. My got my god's piss back up. I think we gotta. We're I'm, I'm focusing on the bugs right now because that's what the mission objectives appear to be like the overall ones. But they're doing this a little different, and the illuminate are coming. There, that's gonna be some shit when those guys show up. People aren't ready unless you're one of those old school Helldivers 1 vets, you know. The, uh, the Illuminate were the Tactical man. Nearby. Oh yeah, here we go. Load up this bitch. Explosive. Package Explosive. Dropping package. You just like, pick it up and drop it. You can move faster. Package acquired. Oh shit! Fucking Dropping tornadoes. Package. Fire tornadoes is just what we need right now. Package acquired. Mm. 
Smoke? No. Napalm? Yeah, that's good. Dropping some package acquired. All right, what else? We got anything over here? Package acquired. <laughs> These environmental effects are are uh, pretty cool too. I'm trying to see, is, is there any no nukes? Looks like mini nukes is one of the types of uh, artillery. Package acquired. Shit, this is this is bad. Dropping package. Package acquired. Oh shit. This is this sucks. Can these things please go away? Okay. Requesting orbital. Not today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Kind of, it's a little bit of a stressful situation, I will say. Like getting chased by flaming tornadoes. Allied destroyer joining squadron, deploying held at. Oh, we got one. towards the explosions and screaming. <laughs> Where's my shit? I guess I could take this expendable anti-tank. If I need that. Oh, somebody left. Calling in reinforcements! 
Whoa. I can't see shit, man. can't we gotta we gotta destroy that those eggs really quick before more dudes spawn not gonna end oh oh shit Oh my god. He tried to kill me. Stop that hole! Stop that hole! Jesus. That was rough. Alright, we gotta finish what we started over here, so... Tagging map, northwest. 100 meters. Just another bug hunt. That's what they said. Oh, oh shit, dude. They're all in front of us right now. Have 
Oh shit, we did it. We make that? Marking location. Support weapon. Ooh, the jump pack. That's mine. That's my shit. Wrap up, let's do this. Five minutes left. Liberty speed your step, held down. So we gotta go, we gotta go. We got five minutes. Activating jump pack! Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Bug breach. Requesting sentry. Keep going. Supplies. I'm gonna head over there and start the process. Hopefully they'll catch up. <laughs> Calling in extraction. There we go. Uh, SCAF artillery. Oh shit, we're doing this again? Calling down a sentry! I got my laser ready in case I need it. No, actually, it's not available. Oh, I'm all out. Well, I'm glad these guys have it. We're gonna get all this shit. Watch out for the fucking flaming tornadoes. Very nice.
Of course, there's like a fucking tornado right here. Looking one arriving at coordinates. Jesus Christ, guys. Looking one landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're standing. Look at what the fuck! <laughs> it's like right on the. It's right on Pelican One. This is bullshit. Oh, 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 oh. Extraction complete. <laughs> you have maintained our way of life. I'll drink to that. All right. Sergeant. Yeah, I, I saw some like leaked um, like models and data about the Illuminate in this when they come out. And uh, it's going to be, <laughs> oh man, those guys, that's going to be rough, man. They got like telekinesis and force fields and shit and psychic powers. It's, yeah, you're going to, you're going to be begging for um, automatons before it's over. Oh man, can we fight those robots again? What's up, buddy? Monkey. Well, they're on my they're in my game, so they might leave. I don't know. Let's see. Stratagem ninety nine thousand, um, or nine thousand nine hundred thirty two. I can get the spear, um, uh, but I think what I want is this rail cannon strike. Does that be good against extra tough enemies? I think that could be good. Um, and I think that's kind of where I'm leaning. Boards. I don't know how good the EMS is, Tesla Tower. So I'm gonna save up for this, for this right here. Um, rail cannon. So I need a little bit. I'm super close, basically. So what acquisitions can I get? Uh, let's see. So I got 35, so I can't really buy anything. I can buy the helmet for that. I can do. That. I mean, I'm not gonna use it, but. Just to unlock it, because you have to unlock stuff to get to the higher level stuff. So. And now, a freedom proclamation. Work harder for a brighter future. Do not think of rebels as fellow humans. If our ideals are alien to them, then they... Alright, so that one's done. So now I gotta do this one. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Um, it's what are you guys saying? Allied destroyer has left squadron. Oh, I'm losing people now. That's all right. I'll probably get more as I go. I'm almost level 23 too. So one more mission should do it. Let me get me over. I think the avail is gonna come. Gonna just dicking around there, Veil. Hmm. What are you doing, cadet? Change my emote. Explosive handshake, scout handshake. Try that one. Did I buy that? I don't even remember doing that. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Hell divers to hell pods. Um. Real Bob Newbin says, political means liberal, as in liberalism. Woke isn't political, it's faith-based and dogmatic Marxism. Marxism is the opposite of politics. 
How is Marxism not political? Wasn't Marxism about opposing capitalism? Well, political, I think politics is simply like a discussion around the proper role and use of power by, um, you know, so, hey, hey, buddy, hey, you're just going to go in there now? All right, that's fine. Well, I'll probably get some help. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I want to get out because I want to change my gun. I want to change my gun because uh, the scythe is not that good. So we're just going to go with the um, liberator penetrator instead. Try that. Okay. I'll get back in. All right, so we gotta do retrieve launch codes and take them there. So we're gonna go here. Uh, Eagle airstrike, walking barrage, precision strike. We'll do the laser, laser, and um, kind of like the flamethrower, but I feel like. It might get this guy killed. So, uh, you know what? I'm bringing them. Um, the, my usual setup is the flamethrower and the jump pack, or the flamethrower and the, uh, uh, the the watchdog. So. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Great Indoors. You're just getting caught up in like rhetorical, you know, arguments about like it's it's very. Um, it's not really useful, but essentially people have beliefs and they believe in using the state to enforce their beliefs. It doesn't matter if they're religious or political. There really isn't that much of a distinction anyway, you know? Ultimately, the issue is, is that it's not that they believe something crazy. They're, the issue is that they think everyone has to believe it and everyone has to on, on penalty of imprisonment and death. And that is the truth, it doesn't matter. Like when you pass a law, when you affect policy, you are essentially messing with people's lives, no matter what the law is. Stalwart's good. It's a good that that's useful. Anything over here? There's like usually ammo and yeah, here we go. We all get them if somebody gets them, so there's no need to worry about. No. Dropping a pin, north, 200 meters. We're gonna head this way, take out this nest, then go get the codes. We're over there. That's it. I'm kind of in love with the flamethrower. I'm just, I'm just saying. A tunnel breach. What's that? What's that sound? What's that sound? Oh shit! The big boy.
That's a thick ass boy. Flamethrower is kind of in love with the bugs. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, the fla I don't know that the flamethrower is as useful on, on uh, the toasters, the robots, but that sound. Oh, damn, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Throw it over there, bro. Throw it. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Sending in an eagle. Uh, better get back. Shit's about to get real. Watch out! Get out of the way! <laughs> New canister. Hmm, where is... Oh, we took that out already. That's good. Let's go. Tagging map. East, 50 meters. Oh, wait. No, let's do this first. Wait, hold on. Dropping a pin. North, 50 meters. Sample collected. Calling down a sentry. Please don't shoot at this thing. It's making radioactive noises. Jesus Christ. Tagging map north, 100 meters. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. We gotta clean this bitch up. Maybe I can, the, this bomb will do it. Going in an eagle. Get out of there! Freedom. Get out of there, dude, dude, dude. All right, that didn't work. Did it? It closed one. That wasn't much. Another diver for the cause. The thing about grenades is...
All right. Break action shotgun sucks. There's a sample. New canister. Last Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. Glitch! <laughs> I'm all out of grenades. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go. You should probably do this thing and then make Dropping a pin. So Southwest. Head back. 200 meters. We still have to pick up the data. Fire tornadoes coming. <laughs> I got one of those left. I really got one of those left. And there is. See him? I see him. But eh. Back to trees. We're gonna put a uh, Gatling sentry down. Oh, there we go. Maybe I don't need to do it. God damn it. You can just like be fine and then be dead suddenly. Don't get killed by the tornadoes or these spitting bastards. Throw it, just throw it. Don't stand too close. I'm gonna try and, oh shit. Oh my goodness, no. Oh good, this, uh, this, oh shit. There is a support weapon down here. What is this? Stalwart? We may as well grab these two. We got the launch codes somehow. I think, think that's it down here, so get out of here. Oh, look at that. My The casings from my gun are there. Wow, that's like some crazy attention to detail. I'm gonna wait until this tornado warning passes and get our stuff. Dive! Dive! Oh my god. Stop, drop, and roll, man! <laughs> Come on, rookie! <laughs> I'm gonna show him. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You dive, okay? Next time you dive, like that. Okay? Dive. 
Double tap circ the the dive button. Crouch button. Whatever you have it set to. Okay. Sample container over here. Grab this. Liberator penetrator. My my jump pack's back here. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go to the mission. Tagging map. East. Far. It is far. We're gonna have to walk. We're hoofing it, soldier. Gotta make do with what we got. Supplies. Don't step on those, they'll slow you down. Don't step on those. I agree that woke needs a counterculture. Um, should we take these out? How many grenades do I have? Four? You have anything, my friend? Bug out post spotted. Calling in an eagle. Democracy's on its way. That's a, that's a big nest. I, mean, I got at least one of them. Blow up in my hand? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm all out of bullets. Or grenades. Yeah, we're gonna stay on that. Bounce! 
something! Eagle One, armed and ready. I think we're just gonna make make uh make tracks because I don't know if we'll be able to do all that stuff that's asked of us. The acid makes you slow, huh? Okay. Well, that sucks. Getting slowed. got here probably nothing oh. <laughs> throw bubble gum Gotta do this now. Got a sample. Engaging terminal. I'm on it. What's the number? doing over there mm, I'm gonna do a sentry here Are these all done? Engaging terminal. I need to know the number. What's the number? Are you just like mashing? What are you doing? I got the terminal. Oh good, you got it. Okay. Ah! 
You guys talking politics in my chat? Got him coming from the south. Gonna take a minute for the missile to like be ready. No driver left behind. Calling down supply. Whoa, watch it, buddy. Almost, oh my god, this is the slowest thing ever. I mean, it is a missile. It is a rocket. A nuke. I got the terminal! D4, eh? See him. Fifty one per cent. Almost ready. Engaging terminal. Authorizing launch and not let's. I was a little too close. <laughs> don't, don't look, don't look directly into the light. Where did it go? Oh shit, tornadoes. Tagging that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's let's go to the extraction point. Our work here is done. Stay together, dudes. Proceed to extraction when ready. Fucking fire tornadoes. I love how they make everything on these planets that weather effects are super like hostile, <laughs> destructive, and they kill the monsters too, like the enemies. Did we do this already? Yeah, we did it already. Yeah. All right, get us out of here. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh, 
Okay, that's there. Put one there. Okay, I'll put one over here then. Requesting sentry. <laughs> oh, it's another one of those motherfuckers. Thirty seconds, guys. ETA T minus twenty seconds. Blasting advanced weaponry. ETA T minus ten seconds. Clear landing zone. Ending in an eagle. Falcon One arriving at port. Touchdown. All right, good job, fellas. We going or what? Pelican one preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in twenty. All right, not they're not personable, but. <laughs> it's because this planet has a whopping 0.005% of CO2 in the atmosphere, yeah. We gotta kill the bugs so that we can then li live there to eat the bugs. Good job. 542, I think I've gone for a bit. So I'm gonna like buy some things and then stop. That was fun. Good shit, son. Can you take the heat? I I did. But I think all that killing cooled the planet a little bit, so we're probably good now. The deaths. I had the, the fewer deaths. Used the most stims, but I use them to help people too. Mission accomplished, and quickly too. I wonder why they reward you for using stims. Are they addictive? I bet they are. All right, I'm gonna quit out, y'all, and let me give this guy a hug before I do. Did you like that? That was funny. All right, uh, let me just do some, I'm gonna kick him really quick because I don't wanna make him stay, you know? Not, not, nothing personal, dude, but I'm quitting, so. Warrior has left squadron. All right, so can I buy that now? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rail, the rail orbital, right? Where is that? 
thought it was like over here somewhere. Arc thrower, guard dog. Hmm. Oh, I can get the Patriot. How much does it cost? The Exo suit. Um, at level twenty-five, so I can't. I can't even. I gotta get to level twenty-five first. I'm level twenty-three though. I'll be there pretty soon. I'll be there pretty soon. Where's the orbital ray gun? Rail gun hit at? Oh, here it is. Rail cannon. Ten thousand. Yeah, let's do it. That will be super useful, I think, on certain enemies. <laughs> Ouch. Is that for the fake out? The fake out handshake? That's funny. Where you go, oh, too, too slow. Okay, I got 50 creds. I don't think I can get anything with that. Uh, apparently, there are new things now. So, ooh, eradicator. That was kind of cool. Super heavy armor, apparently. I like that they... So, like, in the old game, the armor didn't do anything in the first game. It was just aesthetics. But in this one, they serve a function. I kind of like that. Little, It's little things, but it's kind of nice. And then you can... So, you can, like... If you, if you play long enough and you buy enough uh, stuff, you can kind of make a build, you know, as it were. Like, oh, this is the, wep the loadout, my weapons. This is the kind of armor and the armor that gives you certain bonuses. So, like, I, I want to make, like, kind of a support medic type character. And, I mean, I, I don't know. They have some of that, but it's not quite as good. Although, I don't know that a medic is super useful in this game because most things kill you right away. But sometimes, you know, you can survive a few hits and be handy for somebody to give you a stim. So, anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to go and um, I'm going to get out of here so thanks guys for coming on um yeah i know i, I I'm, I'm bad for that so i'm gonna wrap it up there let's go to mate labor lady liberties liber libertits <laughs> you fake him out then kick him too oh the humanity yeah medic boring lame well, I don't know. I mean, something like that. You can make a stealth character, I think, that because there are stealth rules. Although I don't know that that would be super useful. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out of here. Um, gotta feed myself. So instead, they tried to take for themselves what the citizens of Super Earth had proudly built. Now they're going to find out just how hard every man, woman, and child over seven will work to stop them. Do your part. Get to work. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, that, that looked pretty communist to me, but... Anyway, um... If you like this video, please hit like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the game and, like, some of the stuff we talked about beforehand regarding the GDC and Gamergate stuff. Um... And share the video, because sharing is caring. Thanks, guys, for hanging out on the stream... And helping me spread some democracy, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Davis are machines, dude, okay? They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with, especially if you have, like, especially if you have, like, a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that, too. Holy shit, you're fucked.